In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import a table from Outlook to Excel. So I was asked this question a few days ago, and here I have emailed myself a table in, in, uh, in Outlook. And this table, uh, we're, we're assuming to, to use this code, you, you'd have more than a two row by three column table. You have big long one like I have here. And so what we're going to do is I'll show you how it works. So first of all, I'll open up my Excel. So now I'm going to go um, to my developer tab. And I'm going to go to macros. And I name this macro import outlook tables. And I'm going to go run. And there you go. There's all your data. Now, if you want to turn this into a table, you just select a cell within the table. You go to the insert uh, tab on your on your workbook and you click on table. It's going to ask me if my table has headers and I say, yes, it does. And so I say, OK, and there you go. There's your table exactly as it was in Outlook. So now let me show you the code. Now, before you run this code or write this code, you need to make sure that your references are correct. So you're on your Visual Basic window. You're going to, on the menu bar, you're going to the word Tools and References. Now, the top uh, four are the ones I normally have on, but for this particular code, you have to make sure that you have Microsoft HTML Object Library selected and Microsoft Outlook 16 Object Library selected as well. So it's a good idea to have all of these selected, but particularly for this running this particular code, you need to have this one as well. And so I'm going to say OK, and let's step through this code. So um, the first thing that we you need to declare here is you need to declare the, the name of the or the email account that you're taking this from. Um, so this is my other email account that I have, and so I've sent it to my email account. So it's going to look in this specific folder, in this specific folder only. And so I'm declaring Outlook or O app as an Outlook application. I'm declaring O M P I as an Outlook. MPI folder. Now the MPI folder is a folders that the folders that Microsoft contain. And so dim OM is an Outlook mail item. Okay. Then we have on error resume next. And then we're going to go um, down here and it says set MPI equals O application get names MPI folder. So it's looking for the folder with your email that you've declared up at the top here. And it's looking for your in your inbox. And then what it's doing is it's going, it's dim o HTML as this is, um, this is trying to, this is M Microsoft's version of HTML for HTML document for taking a Windows type thing and it's making an HTML document. Set o HTML as new HTML, HTML document. Okay, and then um, with OH, so with your OHTML document, what it's doing is it's looking for the table. Now, once it's found the table, we're de declaring rows and columns as long. Um, and for what it's doing is going through each row and e each column of each cell in the row and copying it over. And so now, just to clear it up, what we're going to do is I'm going to delete the table that we did. And then I'll just we'll just go through it real quick with the AF8 and you can see how it works. So now I have it set up so you can see both the code and the workbook. And we'll just quickly go through this. And it's found the table. And so now it's going through each column and each row, or each row and each column, and putting it over to your sheet. So now it's going to go to the next row and continue on. So that's how we copy from or copy a table from Outlook to Excel. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.